Hi all. In today's video, we will guide through how to fix T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling not working. Why T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling not working? Insufficient Wi-Fi speeds. Wi-Fi calling requires a minimum of 2 Mbps upload and download speeds. If your Wi-Fi speeds are too slow, it can cause issues with call quality and connectivity. Incorrect E911 address. You must set up a valid E911 address before using Wi-Fi calling. If the address is incorrect or not set up, it can prevent Wi-Fi calling from working. Outdated device software. Ensure your device has the latest software updates installed. Older versions may have compatibility issues with the Wi-Fi calling. Interference from other devices. Wi-Fi calling can be affected by interference from other wireless devices operating on the same frequency. And the fixed one is the check network connections. Make sure other devices can connect to and use the Wi-Fi network. Confirm the Wi-Fi password is correct. If you are unsure, check with the network owner. Ensure you are not near something that can cause Wi-Fi interference, such as 2.4 GHz, baby monitors, cordless phones, and some Bluetooth enabled devices. Some public networks have a login page that you need to pass before using the Wi-Fi. Check for alerts and open your browser to determine if it redirects you. Change in the network security type to one the device supports. Make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi and within 15 feet of the router. And the fix too is they check the router and internet connection. Check that the router has the most recent software and is connected to the internet. Run a speed test on the Wi-Fi network. If your speeds are lower than 0.25 Mbps, the problem is within the internet connection. If you need to set up a 911 address to use Wi-Fi calling, check out and change your billing and 911 address. Fix 3 is the check 911 address. Log in to T-Mobile app or go to tmobile.com and sign in to your account. From the T-Mobile app, select the more option followed by profile settings and select line settings and E911 address. Select the line you want to update. From tmobile.com website, go to account and select profile settings and choose the line you want to update from the select line drop down followed by click line settings and select E911 address. Enter the new E911 address which should be the primary location where you use that line and click save changes. And the fix for is the toggle on or off airplane mode. Turn on airplane mode, wait 10 seconds, then turn it off again. This can refresh the network connection. On home screen, swipe down the quick access menu, toggle on or off airplane mode. Fix by is the check Wi-Fi calling settings. Wi-Fi calling status may not be enabled in your device. Follow the steps to enable Wi-Fi calling. For Android, go to settings and connections followed by Wi-Fi calling and ensure it is turned on. For iOS, go to settings followed by cellular and choose the line you want to enable Wi-Fi calling for and tap Wi-Fi calling and turn on Wi-Fi calling on this iPhone. Verify your emergency address is properly configured. If Wi-Fi calling option is not available, your phone is not compatible. Fix 6 is the current to a different Wi-Fi network. Try connecting to a different Wi-Fi network as the current one may be misconfigured and blocking Wi-Fi calling or there might be an connectivity issue. For Android, open the settings app on your Samsung phone, search the Wi-Fi option and tap on the connections or Wi-Fi option. Tap on the plus icon or add new network option. Select different available Wi-Fi connections from the search list and click on it. Tap connect to join the new Wi-Fi network. Once connected, test if Wi-Fi calling works on the new network. And for iOS, go to settings, followed by Wi-Fi and make sure Wi-Fi is turned on. Tap other at the bottom of the list of available Wi-Fi network. Enter the name of the new Wi-Fi network. Select appropriate security type, example WPA2 personal. Enter the Wi-Fi password. Tap join to connect to the new network. Fix 7 is to restart your phone. This is a simple yet effective way to address common issues with your device connectivity. For Android, 
press and hold the power button until you see the power options menu. Tap restart or reboot. Confirm the restart by tapping OK or restart. And for iOS, press and hold the power up button and the side button simultaneously until the slide to power off slider appears on the screen. Drag the slider and wait for the device to fully power down. Once the screen goes black, press and hold the side or power button again until you see the Apple logo appear to restart the iPhone. Fix it is the reset network settings. Resetting network is effective solution. It will reconfigure the network signal and help you to remove issues related to signal flow. For Android, open the settings app followed by general management or you can directly search reset. Tap on the reset network settings. Give you the information about what will be reset. Then tap on reset settings or reset network settings. Confirm the action by tapping reset settings. For iOS, open the settings app followed by general and scroll down and tap on reset. Tap on reset network settings. You may need to enter your device passcode or Apple ID password to proceed. Confirm the action by tapping reset network settings again in the confirmation prompt. Fix9 is update device OS. Make sure your device OS is up to date and running in the latest version. For Android, go to Settings, scroll down to System, Download and Install. For iOS, go to Settings and General and Software Update and Download and Install. If Download option is not available, the OS is already running in the latest version. Thank you for watching our video.